Okay, we're going to do what uh, some may call a little bit of a lost art when it comes to partial derivatives. Uh, the actual partial derivative actually, uh, and this is, you know, the partial of x, okay, it, it actually has a difference quotient uh, definition of its derivative is just like, you know, uh, single variable functions do, okay? So right over here I have... I have crudely sketched a function. Well, I just wrote the, the you know the equation down. Um, so let's see if we can't use the limit uh, definition to figure out um, what, in fact, the rate of change with respect to x is. Okay. So let's see here. So right off the bat, if we just look at our formula, I mean it's it's not too different than what we've normally be, been doing. We just have another variable in there. So all my x's basically become x plus h's. Okay, and then we're just going to subtract the original function from it. Okay. And of course, we're going to take the limit as h goes to zero. Okay, so barely fit that on the page, and I was afraid that might happen because this is these are daunting. Okay, especially with four terms in it. So let's see, what do we do? Let's just go ahead and simplify this. I'm in a I'm in a real big hurry to, to simplify this thing. So we get what do we get? We get x squared plus two xh plus h squared plus xy. See, I mean, the y distributes and the 3 distributes. Okay. x squared minus 3. I'm just, you know, taking the negative, I'm distributing that in there as well. And what did we end up with? A big mess, didn't we? Okay. Well, you know, good good thing is a lot of this stuff should cancel out. So let's start with the uh, negative x squared. That's gone. Uh, positive y and negative y. That's gone. So is the one. Oh, the three x y. That's gone. So it looks like. Um, at the end of the day, we're left with the limit. This goes to zero of two x h plus three h y. Oh, there's also a plus h squared in there. Okay. Uh, so we're left with that. And I ran out of paper. Didn't see that coming. You're right. Okay, so here we are. And this is just going to equal the limit. So h goes to zero of two x plus h plus three y. Remember, we just divide h out, and if we take that limit, uh, it looks like we just end up with two x plus three y. So we just did the old grandfather way of calculating the derivative of this function right here okay and we did it using the exact same definition of, of uh, the derivative that we did in earlier uh, forms of calculus so uh, I just wanted to show you that it can be done I don't know how important it is to your teacher but you know I don't know I guess if you have time mess around with it but all you really gotta do is just take you know, if you're if you're you know taking partial x, just just turn all your x's into x's 
x plus h's and then sub, you know subtract uh, the original function and the same would happen if you uh, took partial y okay so thanks for watching have a good one